Now, you may be saying to yourself, Steve, why are you wearing that mask? Well, I'm wearing this mask because I'm cosplaying as one of my favorite artists that I've discovered, Orion. You're like, Orion? Who's Orion? Well, Orion, if you're familiar with, you know what's coming. If not, I'm going to tell you a little about this wonderful, awesome artist called Orion. See? He's got a mask, just kind of like I got. That's why I'm wearing the mask. Cause... Anywho, um, Orion, every record he sold was gold. And uh, you'd think, well, then why maybe haven't I heard of them? If you're one of the people like, oh, I don't know who Orion is. If all of his records were gold, why is that? Well, the reason being is he released all of his records on clear gold vinyl. That way he could say all of his records were gold, no matter how many he sold. Well, that's kind of shady and cheesy. Oh, shady and cheesy? We're just getting started. Let's go into the history of Orion. I'm gonna put you in my washing machine. I'm gonna wash and wash until you come clean. Now when I get through with you, you're gonna look right The world is shocked by Elvis Presley's sudden death after attempts to save his life failed. There were so many people that so desperately wanted Elvis to still be alive and they took it hook, line and sinker. There are plenty of people who think the king is still alive. If Elvis is alive, he wears a mask and goes by the name Orion. Right, where you come from? I was born in Sun Records, in the studio. Do you ever take off your mask? Only when I go through customs. He just had that magic about him. Look at this guy. Who is he? So, who is this guy? Well, let's talk about another guy first. What guy would that be? This guy here. This guy is Shelby Singleton. He is a slimy record executive and a really, really rich guy. And what do really, really rich guys want to do? Make more money. So he bought Sun Records. Sun Records is a very big label with a lot of great artists, stars, and acts. Johnny Cash has a lot of stuff on Sun. And also, the very first recordings from Elvis Presley were on Sun. But what he didn't have was Elvis Presley himself. Because you see, Elvis Presley had already signed with other record labels at that time, and Shelby wanted Elvis. He couldn't get Elvis. He couldn't afford Elvis. And so he's like, what am I going to do to be able to get hits like Elvis? Then he heard this song. One, two, three, four. After hearing that song, he had an idea. Why don't I grab that guy? I know that record label. They're super tiny, small. They don't pay their guys well. I'll get that guy and put him on my label. And I've got the rights to all those old Elvis songs. I'll just have him record them and re-release them. Yeah, that'll work. And he did. Well, there was no cha-ching for Shelby. This did not sell. At this time, there was a lot of knockoff, sound-alike artists out there, and people were starting to look a little closer, and they were not being tricked. And they knew, without Elvis's name on there, that that wasn't Elvis, and nobody bought that record. And at that time, Shelby and Mr. James Ellis, they parted ways for a while, for years, for quite a few years. 
until the death of Elvis Presley. When Elvis passed away, he had another idea. In 1977, soon after Elvis dying, Gail Brewer Giorgio wrote a book called Is Elvis Alive? A supposed nonfiction book filled with conspiracy theories and sightings of Elvis still being alive. And shortly afterwards, she wrote a fiction book called Orion, which was a book about a southern rockin' superstar that no longer wanted to be in the spotlight and uh, how he faked his own death. And so, upon seeing this, of course, you know what happened. Yeah, you're right. He saw that book and said, hey, I'm going to call my good old friend James Elvis, I mean, James Ellis, and we're going to get together and start producing our first album together. We'll put a mask on him, and we'll just say, hey, he's Orion, and make it super mysterious. And then people will maybe think that that's Elvis and keep buying his records. It's not so much that he sounded and kind of looked like Elvis now. People thought maybe he really was Elvis. Between the years 1979 and 1981, he released seven records. That's over two a year. Well, he was trying to be as proficient as Elvis was, if you wanted to keep up the charade. The records that he released were Sunrise, Reborn, Glory, Country, Rockabilly, Feelings, and Fresh. All were released on that clear gold vinyl so that he could tell people all of his records were gold. And so he kept going on after 1981 performing live until 1983. He actually took off his mask on stage, threw it on the ground and said, I'm never putting this damn thing back on again. And he didn't, but nobody went to his shows either. And he very quickly erased himself from the spotlight. The mystique was gone and nobody cared for him as an entertainer on his own. And so he left the music industry, moved to Alabama, and opened up in Selma, Alabama, a pawn shop where he and his wife ran for a few years until one fateful day, a robber came in to rob him and shot him dead. And that was the end of James Hughes Ellis. And that is the sad, tragic tale of James Ellis, also known as Orion. You know, he had a singing voice that was a lot like Elvis, so much so that nobody wanted anything to do with him. But then when he got a chance to actually become a star because he was like Elvis, he took advantage of it. But then he realized that he wasn't selling himself. People were coming to see Elvis, not James Ellis. He quits the music industry and then gets murdered brutally. Tragic. Now, little side note before I go. That original 45, remember that one that he made before he signed the Sun? That thing goes for over a hundred dollars in any condition. Um, that is a grail. I want to get that someday. That's on my to-do list. But anywho, thanks for watching. Take care, and as always, all vinyl lives matter. See ya. I'm gonna put you in my washing machine. I'm gonna wash and wash until you come clean. We, did a, we just got through doing a new album, which will be out probably the 1st of August or the, the middle of August, and this song is on it. And uh, out, of all, out of all the songs that are on the album, this is one of the things that we picked as a single. Okay. And uh, that's the way it goes. All right, we'll see how we like so we, it. So we hope it does real well for us. Okay. Morning, noon, and night with Orion. Ever since the first time I saw you, girl, you look so good to me with those pretty blonde curls. Yes, you look so tempting And I could not, not resist But you made me act fool 
lips, or just like a little kid. I know I act crazy, oh, but I can't help myself. Cause there's something about you, darling, that makes my heart melt. Yes, I know I may never own you, oh, but I'm still gonna try. Cause I, I got to have you. <laughs> 